<laughs> Funny you should mention that, actually. <laughs> I could. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're back. Legit this time. No scanning bonus video or whatever. We're back in, and we're gonna be making some progress in this game. Oh, how long has it been since I recorded up to part 19? I think it was it was the day that I uploaded part 5. When was that? Give me a second. Let me pull up my internets. On December 22nd, before Christmas. It is January 20. It is a whole month later. And I'm just now getting back into the game because I've finally caught up in episodes. That is kind of insane. So, I mean, I guess it's not really a long wait for you guys because you guys literally just caught up in episodes, but boy, has it been a long wait for me. And now finally, we're gonna be able to make some progress in this game once again. Another evening recording session on a Wednesday evening because I didn't want to wait until Sunday to record more because Saturday I'm gonna be dedicating to Resident Evil 2, which comes out the day before on Friday, two days from now, woohoo! And uh, yeah, so we're finally gonna make some progress and I have a list somewhere here. Well, first things first is, my natural stuff is in here, right? I took the cuttlefish out of alien containment because I didn't want it to hatch while I was running around doing stuff off camera. So first things first, we're gonna go put that back in. And me. And there's my crab squid, my mesmer, and I should have a jelly ray in here somewhere. There you are. Hey, you guys are cool. Okay, I'm gonna put the cuttlefish here. And we're gonna wait for that little cutie to hatch. And in the meantime, you can see that I have changed the paint job on Abyss Walker. Look, isn't that cool? I love it so much. I think the first thing that we're gonna build is the reinforced dive suit. What do I need to make that? It's not in here. <laughs> Where am I going? Again, it's been like almost an entire month since I played this, so excuse me. Synthetic fibers, two diamond, and two titanium, which I do believe I have in here. I got more water! The reinforced dive suit, which allows me to take more damage and uh, reduce more heat temperatures. Which is awesome, because I'm still wearing the rad suit, which I definitely do not need to be wearing anymore, because I fixed the aurora. I'm gonna go ahead and take what's in here. Oh, I need to actually put it on. Okay, hold on. Unequip, unequip. Can I see the things on my hand, by the way? You can, look at, look at my hand in the bottom right corner. You can see the greenness on me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, time to put on the reinforced dav stuff. I did put on the right ones, okay. And because the radiation suit's really easy to make and I don't want to be taking up this much space, I'm gonna throw it in the trash can and see if you wait and have things sit in the trash can for long enough, they disappear. So that's how you get rid of stuff you don't want to be hanging on to no more. I've made that already, haven't I? Hold on. Have I made that? No. No, I haven't. Okay, well, I can make a Mark I at least. Plasteel ingot, three nickel, and two ruby. I did go back to the Lost River in between episodes 19 and now. Oh, my sand shark just hatched. That's cool. Oh my goodness. There he is. Hey, buddy. Okay, so I need, I wasn't even paying attention. What is it? A plasteel ingot, two ruby, three nickel. I did go back to the Lost River with my prawn suit to get the nickel that I found and couldn't pick up because I hadn't made the drill arm yet. I did do that off camera just to not waste your guys' time. Nailed it. So my prawn suit by default can go down 900 meters. And with the Mark I, we can go down to... 1300 meters. I have never been that deep in this game. I think it's like 1100 or 1200 is my record. Oh no, we can go get the Kyanite now. <laughs> oh no, fuck me. Okay, well we did that shit on my ass. What do I need to make the jet upgrade? Three crystalline sulfur. Two nickel, one lithium, five titanium. Jesus Christ, okay. And nailed it. So that allows us to have more power for the for the our thrusters, basically, so we can basically reach greater heights on the same amount of power, which is awesome. We got more water, I'm gonna need that desperately. And I think I'm gonna put my uh, abyss walker into the cyclops and we're gonna take the cyclops down uh, to the deep depths because we haven't really gone anywhere with that yet. 
Oh, thermal reactor. Idiot. Two poly- Oh, I need kyanite for that, too. Okay, well, I can't make that yet. Shit. Death modules for the Cyclops. I think I have a Mark I already. I can do that. Right, and I totally forgot. I have uh, decorated in my Cyclops a bit. I have a little flower plant here with some flowers and shrooms on them just because they're pretty. I have a vending machine and my fabricator and communications relay are right here. And over here is all Reginalds. You can put up to eight fish. <gasps> Speaking of fish, he just hatched. Oh god, okay, well we're gonna have to mess with him before we go down into uh, the Kyanite biome. You can put up to eight fish in your aquarium, and I have all Reginalds in mine, so that is food. I don't know why they all look infected, because they're definitely not infected, which is weird, and I'm assuming that's a bug of some kind. But don't worry, I'm not eating infected fish. Don't worry about that. My pantry, with salt and other foods, are in here. Uh, vending machine for emergency foods. Uh, and then I have a growth bed with potatoes and a lantern tree, which will help tremendously, and a bunch, a bunch of storage space. So, we're pretty much good to go, uh, for my Cyclops here. And what was I doing in here? Right, <laughs> I'm disembarking the Seamoth. Oh, whoa! I've, I've never seen the disembark animation before, that is awesome! Alright! Ow! God damn it! I'm gonna have to make a compilation of all the times I've bumped into something with my Seamoth, because it happens way more often than it should. Oh, it really does feel a lot better. Plus one way to do it! <laughs> okay! Alright, Abyss Walker is in. I need my freaking vehicle modification station, which means I gotta go back out of here. God damn it! What do I need to make the Mark III? I need more kyanite. So I need at least eight pieces of kyanite. Which is, a uh, Hoverfish. You're, he's still hanging out by my base. I had uh, that hoverfish in my aquarium while I was gathering Reginalds, and then when I decided I was going to make it all Reginalds, <laughs> uh, I let him go, and now he's just kind of hanging out by my base, swimming around, like, thank you for not eating me. You're welcome, buddy. You're so welcome. Okay, so here's the Mark II. I'm gonna bet it's gonna be 1,300 meters. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, and I didn't put the suit jump jet upgrade in yet. I'm like, oh wow, it feels so much better. I didn't even put it in. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm dumb. Okay, let me go to... In here! Thank you. Upgrade. There. Now it's gonna feel different. <laughs> Where's my cuttlefish? I've never had a cuttlefish in this game before. I stopped playing the uh, the the beta version of this game uh, before the cuttlefish update. So when the cuttlefish update was announced, I so wanted to jump back in, and I was like, nope, nope, you're not gonna do it, Nene. You're gonna wait for the full release. And now there he is! Look at him! Oh, look at him! Hold on, I wanna say hi to him. Hello, Mr. Cuttlefish. Oh, I can scan him. Okay. Get out of the way, Mesmer! There he is! Look at him! Look at that face! Look at that face! Oh god, crab squid landed on my head there for a second. The crab squids remind me of that creepy toy freak thing from the first Toy Story movie. You guys remember that thing? The baby head with the spider legs? <laughs> That's what the crab, fish rem uh, crab squid excuse me, remind me of. A small, gray-colored herbivore. The cuttlefish displays high levels of intelligence, curiosity, and attachment. Ah! Strangely, this species has not been encountered in the wild. What does that mean? And the scanned specimen had to be artificially hatched within an alien containment unit. Weird. But they do. I found the egg in the wild. Where did it come from, then? There's my sand shark. In the absence of wild specimens, little can be known for certain about the cuttlefish's life cycle. It's possible that environmental conditions have changed, forcing the species to the edge of extinction and leaving its eggs in permanent stasis. Oh, okay. It is also possible the cuttlefish has been genetically altered or even imported to 4546B from another world. We do know that the cuttlefish is a herbivore which displays highly social behavior in its interspecies interactions, as was observed in earth dolphins before their extinction. <gasps> Don't say that! Oh, that's so sad. 
This creature seems to understand the concept of other minds, the prime indicator of true sentience, and attempts to communicate with a series of chirps and chirrups. Man, imagine if that's how androids in, in Detroit it communicated with chirps and chirrups. <laughs> Evidence suggests the cuttlefish is capable of understanding and following simple commands, in addition to assessing the emotional state of individuals around it and responding in kind. Assessment. Emotional connection between living creatures is an essential component of psychological health. Well then, come here, Mr. Cuttlefish. I'm gonna put you out so- oops. Nope, wait, wrong button. The freaking crab squid pushed me up. I'm gonna put him outside. And we're gonna play around together, maybe, because I don't really know what to do with this thing, besides release him. <sighs> Look at you. Okay, we'll, we'll release you. Right, wait. There he is. Here. Wait, hey, hey! Man's best friend! Oh, where are you going? Excuse me, Mr. Cuttlefish, where are you going? Where the fuck is he go- where did he go? Is that him? Where is he going? Mr. Cuttlefish, come back! I feel like this is a bug and this should not be happening. I kind of want to stop to see if he'll come back, but I also don't want to risk him swimming away and me never finding him again. There he goes. Guys, I waited all this time for a cuttlefish and mine's broken. Highly social attachment behavior, and the first thing he does is swim the fuck away from me? Are you kidding me? I got the trophy for hatching him, and then he swam away from me like a dick. I feel like this was very underwhelming and anticlimactic, and I am extremely disappointed. <laughs> that was cool. You know what? I'm considering quitting, and saving, and trying to hatch it again. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Screw it. I'm not gonna go. Sure, fine, whatever. The first 20 minutes of this episode, white, mulligan, I'm quitting without saving. I'm gonna try and hatch the cuttlefish again because there is no way I'm going all the way down into the deep Grand Reef, back to the Degasi base, to grab another cuttlefish egg. No way I'm doing that. We're just gonna load it back up again. If you run away from me again, I'm gonna be really sad. <laughs> Hey there! Hey buddy! Hey, he's not running from me now! What? I can command him to- <gasps> Hey, where are you going? Play! Hey! Oh my god, look at him! Come here! I have a new friend. You got a friend in me. Hey! Okay, I commanded him to stay. He's not gonna follow me now. Now I can command him to follow me. Is he gonna follow me? He does! He does! Where'd you go? There he- Oh my god, look at he follows me! Hey! Oh my god, I fucking love you. Come here. Oh my god, you are the cutest fucking thing in the world! Why didn't I hatch you sooner? This is part 21! Why am I just now hatching you? Okay, come here, come here. Stay by my base, please. I- I- I'm going to a very, very, very dangerous part of this ocean. You cannot come with me. I am so sorry. Come here. No, wrong- no. Stay. Do not follow me. Swim around! Have fun! I'll be back! I fucking love you. We need to come up with a name for the cuttlefish. And speaking of that, one of you has requested I name the Cyclops something specific. Which is actually a really good idea. Right now it's called Rivas, after, uh, if you guys didn't watch part, part 19, my best friend Sarah is getting married to Carlos Rivas, so that's the name they're gonna be sharing together. Uh, but since I promised we would change the name, uh, based on a uh, viewer request, we are going to name it the Poseidon. Yeah, isn't that cool? Because it can house the Nereid, the whole sea nymph, Greek mythology thing. Yeah. So that's for you, Firebird's child. Our Cyclops is now called Poseidon. So we have Poseidon, Nereid, and Abyss Walker. How fucking awesome is that? What a trio, but okay. Okay, so my cuttlefish didn't freaking bug out this time. That's great. 
there he is right now. So he's just gonna hang out there and have fun until I come back. We can go now. <laughs> oh my god. To where we need to go to find Kyanite. Actually, those can be off. These can be off for dramatic effect. Alright, it's our first time piloting the Cyclops into, like, actual dangerous territory. I'll have you know, guys, okay? I'll have you know, the Cyclops is the vehicle I now have the least experience with. I have driven the Cyclops a lot in the beta version uh, on PC of this game. But that was before the silent running update, which added all this crap. The Cyclops used to be totally immune to damage. Like, even against Leviathan-class predators. Nothing could hurt you while you were in the Cyclops. But now... Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Not entirely sure what purpose that serves, besides just being fun and cool. <laughs> Engine powering up. I hope my little cuttlefish is okay. Let's do... Heads. Well, I suppose we can go fast until we start getting into the more dangerous biomes. Ahead flank. Emergency speed. Emergency speed? Maybe I don't want to do that. Ahead standard. Standard's fine. Alright, here we go. That's how much sound I'm making. I can do silent running. I can access the cameras. What's that shields? Okay. Maybe I shouldn't cut over the shallows. That would probably be a bad idea, right? Considering the size of my vehicle. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I don't have very I don't I have little to no experience with the Cyclops once all this was added. So fuck me! Let's go. Oh, this is it. Okay, you know what? I think I've just decided R2 to exit. Okay. I've just Rick for Simon running. Can I turn on my lights, please? Why can't I turn on my lights? Maybe I can't because I'm in silent running? I don't know. But for whatever reason, I can't turn on my lights. I'm trying to make as little noise as possible because silent running. I don't know if it's going to run out. I'm scared. I don't really know how the Cyclops works anymore. I'm scared. I don't know where my beacon went. There it is. Okay. Definitely not sounding the horn right now. That would be a bad idea. Where is the freaking Lost River? Excuse me, Ampiel! Ow! Oh god, it goes down even further. Oh god, what? Shields! How are we doing on health? Oh, we're fine. Pfft, you get- we're- we're- we're fine. I can turn off shields. It's fine. Um, oh, hello. <gasps> hello? What?! Oh my god, it goes down so quick! Wait a minute, hold on the f hold the fucking phone! Oh my god, why does the power go down so fast? I was at 80%! Now I'm at 25? Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. There we go. I should have a power cell charger on here somewhere. Oh, crap, I'm in trouble. I don't think I'm gonna have enough power to make it back home. Okay, what's my power at now? That's not great. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn that off. Slow. It's slow. Okay. I I recognize this skeleton. I've seen this before. Am I good to disembark Abyss Walker here? I think I am. So I'm gonna do that. Engine powering down. Is there something I can do to like? Recharge? Is there like a recharging module of some kind? Two polyaniline, four kyanite, and two silver. Okay. Okay. What do I- how do I make polyaniline again? I don't remember, and you know what? I don't really care. Um, I'm gonna go down into Abyss Walker right now just to save power in this fucking thing. Oh god, that was a ways down. Alright. I hope I can make it back up there, because if not, we might have a bit of a problem. Can I scan this? Oh, heck yeah, I can. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Ancient skeleton. I'm nervous. I'm nervous about the Cyclops' lack of power efficiency. I'm a little worried about that. 
The skeleton of a million-year-old armored carnivore. Projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living... What? Even the ghost leviathan down in the crater. Larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. The oceans of the time would have been very different to support life forms of this size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the leviathan range. That's it? That's all you have to say about this thing? Okay. There's those pillars. Look at that. Oh god. Nope. God. No lag. Frame rate. Not now. That bad time. Look how much- look at how much further our thrusters can carry us! Whee! Uh oh. That was a little too vigorous. Okay. I don't have an orange tablet, do I? I think I've found the blue one. Oh no wait, no I did find the orange one! Oh please tell me I put it back in the Cyclops! Let me- let me go back into the Cyclops. Please tell me I put all the artifacts in there. Please, if I didn't, I'm gonna be so mad. Where am I going? Right, I'm checking for artifacts. Oh my god, I did. I am such a smart girl! Thank god! Okay. I have the orange artifact. I have it right here. Okay. No, I'm not going in here with bad frame rate. I'm gonna save first, then we'll go in. Better, kind of. Okay, here we go. I think that's the artifact we found in the Degasi base in the Deep Grand Reef. This one's all flooded over. Wait, I could scan something. Oh, here we go. Okay. Bone specimen. Mixed Leviathan fossils. These fossils likely came from the ancient ancestors of the Leviathans which inhabit the planet today. Oh, great! The relative size and delicacy of the bones suggest they formed part of the ear canal. Or some other- EAR CANAL! EAR CANAL! This- this thing! This big thing! EAR CANAL! Are you shitting me? Oh my god. Holy crap. I'm gonna bring this inside. Right here. Okay. So again, I think I remember this cache actually, but all of the display cases used to be empty. There was nothing in them the last time I was in here. I, if this is the alien cache I'm thinking of. It might be, but I'm not sure. Either way, I've seen display cases like this before, but there was never anything in them. Local plants being held in stasis, the aliens evidently sought an extensive knowledge of the planet's ecosystem, which would have been necessary to support any live specimen research. Interesting. This is where they probed around in them, I'm assuming. Oh, hello, cuttlefish! There you are! <laughs> it's another egg! Okay, so I found three of the five. A large laboratory table and accompanying scanners incorporate technologies far beyond our current level of understanding. Hypotheses. Equipment maintenance. Staff maintenance. Specimen analysis. Probably. Specimen gene manipulation. Or that. That too. That too. That could definitely be a thing. Oh! <gasps> How did I walk right by this? That one's rather large. Wait, I could scan something. I saw that. I said it said I could scan something. You can't bullshit me. Reproductive data. Integrating new PDA data. Extensive alien research data on the local fauna with a special focus on their reproductive methods. Interesting. Core conclusions have been synthesized. The aliens discovered the life forms on the planet have just one sex. Wait, so the all of the if they must be female then. Unless the males can produce eggs, which isn't exactly foreign in marine life, seahorses. They observed local organisms engaging in asexual reproduction. All healthy individuals tested were capable of egg laying. Eggs usually require genetic material from another of the species, okay. In rare case, only one parent was required, with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself. Research appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. Genetic variations, huh? 
So, if my theory is correct, and this enzyme 42, which has some sort of immunity to the Kara virus, came from the Sea Emperor, maybe they were trying to genetically hatch more Sea Emperors that were, that had the enzyme 42 present in their body? Is that what they were trying to do with all this research? But okay, enough dilly-dallying. We found an alien cache, which is cool. I'm debating on leaving the Cyclops here. And just continuing on. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna continue on with the prawn suit. I'm gonna leave the Cyclops here. I'm gonna leave- I'm gonna leave Poseidon here. Just cause... I- the, the power- I don't have enough power to be fucking around! Oh god damn it. If I find any more nickel, I'll pick it up. Except I've never really been down in this area, the Lost River, and I don't really know where I'm going. Um, oh hello. I guess I'll just try this way. 